Hi, I'm CJ Altmerg of TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to walk through a trailer that just showed up the other day. This is a 2021 Cimarron Showstar LX. So this trailer we're looking at here, this is 26.6 on the floor. This trailer is 8 foot wide. It's 6 4 tall. And what we did is we went in and we, we made it a 10 pin and then we put a six foot front tack room on this. So we continue to see the trend in the, in the industry of people wanting those tack rooms to be a little bit bigger. We understand you're hauling a lot of stuff, whether it's equipment for the animals feed. Um, also with showing out of these trailers, we understand that you're gonna be taking more stuff for the kids, whether it's some food, some snacks, some drinks, chairs, things like that, that you're gonna to need to take with you. So let's check this trailer out. The first thing we did underneath the gooseneck here on the LX model, it's standard, but is the single leg electric over hydraulic jack, which is awesome. It is so cool to be able to just push the button up and down it goes. We understand a lot of families out there, um, you know, potentially are showing with some, you know, younger kids uh, as you're backing up. Literally, you can have one of the kids over here, and as you get close, as you're backing up, it's as simple as pushing the button, and they can just drop it right on the truck. Um, you know, it, it, that does make it a lot simpler. If you do need to override this, it does have the manual pump as well. So if you get in an emergency situation, you can go up or down with this, but it is nice to have that. We've got a boot box, or excuse me, a battery box up here. We also have a battery disconnect. We like adding those to our trailers if they do have that hydraulic jack on there because that way if a light gets left on in this trailer, um, you know, we're not draining this battery. You know, when you go to unhook it, the last thing you do is just reach up here and turn this off. The trailer's dead. Down here, we've got brackets for a generator. And right up above and up here on that gooseneck drop wall, is your actual outlet where you'll plug in for your 30 amp service. I'll show you that when we get into the tack room. But you can mount your generator here, run your cord right up there and plug that in. Like I said, we've gone to a lot of bigger tack rooms on these trailers. You know, standard on this one is, on an LX model, is actually about a little under five foot. Uh, but we like the six foot. The six foot just seems to be the go-to. Uh, we've had some customers custom build and go a little bit bigger than that even. But what we like to do is we like to put the big 42 inch wide door on here. You know, we have that, that uh, basically wall length right here. So let's go ahead and accommodate that. Put that bigger door. It's just so nice getting in and out with equipment or other things like that. We put the step on there. So it's a nice easy transition also for smaller kids hopping in and out of here. Up in the gooseneck deck, we put another LED light on there. Uh, you know, one standard, but we like to go in and put a second one in here, just give you a little bit more light coverage. And then over here's our breaker box for that 30 amp service. Like I said, on the outside there, that's where that plugs into. And then we've got power that I'll show you back in the stall area as well. Up here you've got a shelf with a clothes rod. That shelf actually does have a lip on it, so it will hold some items in there. Clothes rod for the kids. This is a great place to hop in. Kids change, get ready to go, go show. Here on the wall we put some nice big utility hooks. Hoses, cords, things like that are really good to hang there. And then you'll see the two rows of airline track there. We can get you some different hooks that you can maybe hook some feeders to. Uh, there is a new uh, bracket, uh, bucket holder bracket that actually attaches to that. That could be added to this trailer as well. We could get that from Cimarron. We carpeted the wall so nothing's rubbing on that aluminum, scratching it up. Um, nice little feature there. And then you've got your walkthrough door going into your stall area. Again, if you're showing off this trailer, that's really nice. You can get feed pans ready, go right in there. Kids can come in here, get changed, right back out there, grab their hog, lamb, goat, whatever it is, and head off to the show ring. 
with having the bigger tack room the other nice thing that we can do is is you know a 12 inch boot box is standard but the 12 inch boot boxes you know for the buckets that we typically carry for these uh, smaller show animals because of the framing around there they actually won't fit down in here but on the 18 inch they do so we like if we can on these little bit bigger tack rooms put this mm -hmm. this 18 inch boot box that runs across the gooseneck drop wall some people want a half one maybe they want to turn it underneath the clothes rod but it's a good place to sit a uh, good place to store store some of those miscellaneous items there before we wander in and check out some of the other uh, options on this trailer there's that 42 inch wide door we put a digital combo lock on there for you as well that's a nice feature that a lot of people like because we understand you know maybe mom's got to run back to the trailer one of the kids do maybe dad does and keeping track of the keys sometimes can get a little tricky so if you just lock this you've got the combo lock somebody can go and unlock it the other thing we do on our Cimarron's here at Transwest is we've gone in from the gooseneck drop wall to the bottom of the floor industry standard is 50 inches but what's happened over the last couple of years is the pickups continue to get taller and taller we're having issues with bed clearance and making sure the trailer's running level you know if you're if you're looking around and you see some older trailers on some newer trucks you'll notice that there's hardly any bed clearance and the trailers running level or we've got a lot of bed clearance because they've nosed it up and it's running on the back axle which we don't want to do either scenario is not not the best so what we've gone in and done is made this 53 inches. With that being 53 inches, that extra three inches of gooseneck drop wall, I can go in, adjust the coupler on this trailer, get you a good six to eight, nine inches of bed clearance. That's typically what we strive for, is me to be able to just barely touch this bottom rail and then touch the top of your bed rail. On our, on our living quarters, you know, they're, they're bigger, they're heavier, uh, 47 standard on those, but we're okay because of the weight really pushes them down. But on these trailers here in inventory on our new Cimarron's, we try to go in and do 53 just for that reason. So this will give you kind of a good view here. This is actually the charcoal metallic color. It's a new color that Cimarron's come out with. It's a sharp looking uh, sheeting to this trailer. You know, it fits a lot of the color schemes on some of the newer pickups we see out there today. So on this, you get a standard side ramp. And then we also have the extra panel over the side ramp. So again, if you're jackpotting off of this trailer, you know, we can open it up and get a lot of airflow through there. Not have to worry about animals getting out. But that side ramp is really nice to have. That way you've got a couple access points on and off this trailer. On the LX, you get the standard drop windows. We've got them open on this side here. Again, getting a lot of airflow through this trailer. The other thing is this aluminum fold down slat. So with our smaller animals, our hogs, lambs, and goats, you know, they're down here. That's where we need that airflow to get to. So we can manipulate that airflow in, the, in that trailer with the roof vents, with the side windows, with these here, getting a lot of airflow in there. But again, a lot of airflow, keeping these animals nice and comfortable on top of that insulated roof that's standard on every Cimarron. But this is really nice. And, you know, the old styles, it used to be an, an air gap with plexiglass. So when you leave in the morning, maybe it was really cold. I mean, Colorado, I mean, we're in the teens today. and as we wake up this morning and you know we could potentially get up into the 50s today so you know major temperature you know changes we see here so it's so much easier when you leave the house to have these uh, these closed up and then have to stop and remove all that plexiglass and then go put it away you can literally stop at a stoplight or pull off the road that's probably not the safest thing to do at a stoplight but jump out and run around this trailer and you can have this lower air gap open in a matter of seconds so it's really nice and we really like that feature that uh, Cimarron's done there and then here you get a good view of that polished finish that's standard on these LX's as well they are sharp looking trailers when they're going down the road 
One thing we like to do is on these trailers, we like to upgrade to the button lights, the button LED lights. You know, they're a little bit smaller. Since they're LED, there's not a major power draw. They put off a lot of lighting. When this thing's running down the road at night, you know, we've added a couple extras on it. It looks sharp on going down the road with those button lights. On this trailer here, you've got the two 7,000 rubber torsion Dexter axles. You've got 16 inch wheels. These are actually a gunmetal wheel here. It's kind of a newer color that they've come out with. I think it really works well with the color of this trailer. These are balanced and nitrogen filled tires. That's where you see the green tab. We're not having major fluctuations in PSI. Um, you know, again, cool evening, uh, cool mornings, cool evenings, really hot days, major temperature differences. We don't want those PSI levels changing drastically because that's what will cause blowouts in you on the side of the road. You get a one year, no questions asked warranty on these wheels and tires here. Uh, the tires themselves, you catch a nail, you blow out that. If it can't be patched or if it's blown out, you send in some codes, they send you a new tire. And then you have, uh, on the wheels you have a lifetime warranty on those but the tires you get a one year and you get two years of roadside assistance which is pretty cool and if something does happen and tears up this fender on these Cimarrons those are those are bolt on those are not weld on so a lot easier to swap out save you a lot more money in the long run um, from a labor standpoint if they're welded on you get to cut them off remove them put the new one on re-weld no this is a lot simpler system here You'll notice as we work to the back of this trailer, this door is folded all the way around. And the reason why is we like to put the wraparound hinges on these trailers rather than the standard hinges that Cimarron uses on their trailers. The standard hinges would just allow these doors to almost wing out at a 90 degree angle off this trailer. So as we're showing off these trailers, you know as well as I do, when you get into a fairgrounds, you pull into a barn, something like that, everybody's kind of parked right next to each other. With these doors winged out, it's hard for people to get by, animals to get by. That's why we like the wraparound. Just wrap them around the trailer, kind of get them out of the way, and then you, you can secure them. So you have the dual 50-50 doors with the wraparound hinges, and then you have the dual 50-50 rear ramps. These ramps are very lightweight, you know. Your younger kids can easily open and close these. It's nice that they are they are uh, independent and they are 50-50. We can open up one door if we want and drop that ramp. We don't have to do everything in order to get in these trailers. Two big 16-inch awning lights at the back. Try to get you a lot of light coverage. Those are LEDs as well. These are individually on switches. So are the, the um, interior, the stall area LED lights. Those are the nice big Optibrite lights. I'm not sure if you can see it clear up at the front by that ramp. We've got two switches up there as well. Those switches inside that ramp will also turn on the stall area lights and then your passenger side load lights. So this trailer is a 10 pin. These are adjustable pins as well. Right now we have this trailer set up at your 60-40. So 60%, 40%. You know, this works really well as an alleyway as, as, you know, animals get a little bit bigger. But this is so simple to use. The old style, you had to unpin on each end, pick it up, move it to the other one, drop it in, repin. This can happen so fast, swapping this around. So again, 60-40, all I have to do is break that loose, pull on that, and now we have a 50-50 setup. Cimarron has done such a good job on this design. It's so user-friendly, so easy. Again, I mean, it's kind of one-hand operation. I can break it loose, pull it to me, pop it back in, and reshut it. Again, that's something that even your younger kids can swap around if need be. On these center gates here, we put a high and a low feed rail on there. 
And the reason why is we understand younger projects, as they're growing, you're gonna get a little bit taller, that way you can adjust. And we did it on both sides. So when you're clipping feeders on here, you're clipping right here. How they used to do it is we'd have one bar on one side. So I'd have to clip, and then on the other side, I'd have to be reaching through. To where this is a lot simpler, we'd rather just go in and add a few more rods for you. So it's a little bit more user friendly from that standpoint. Up top here, you'll notice this rail that comes off the ceiling. So that rail actually comes off of the cattle trailers on their traveling gates. But what we've done here is, is we put this rail in here and then we've got some uh, brackets up front there for some fans. So you can attach fans to those, run them where you want on this traveling track. And then you'll also notice in this top rail with our 30 amp service, there's your plugins. So we've got power in here as well, which is also pretty cool because you can plug in to your power source, whether it's your generator or something there at the show, a plug-in. And I can run some, you know, some type of, whether it's clippers, um, heaters this time of the year, some guys will do. Uh, but you can run some different things and you have the power right here at the trailer, which is really nice. All you have to do is just plug it in there and you're not having to just run a bunch of cords and figuring all, all that out. So a lot simpler system there, but we really like putting that 30 amp service in there um, just for that reasoning. If you want, a lot of people just bed really deep in these trailers, um, but if you want to do worm flooring, we can do that. Uh, there's a place locally here we can take the trailer and put worm flooring in here. So that can be done. There's a lot of extras that can be done to this trailer after the fact. If you do want to put an AC unit on here, we've already pre-framed for it, so it can just be cut out, installed there, and guess what? We already put 30 amp service power to this trailer. So you're ready to go as far as adding an AC unit as well. But these 10 pins are really, really nice from that standpoint of, I mean, they're just very user friendly. Um, if you wanted to, we do have some people that occasionally will haul uh, maybe a show calf with them as well. You know, all you have to do is break these, these gates loose and just pull this pin down and I can take this whole section out. And some people will throw a calf on here as well. So we do see these trailers being used you know, dual purpose for those reasons. There's another good view of that wraparound door getting it out of the way. We put another load light over this escape door. Another extra panel here for you with another fold up step. That way, if you're needing to hop in and out of here, checking on stuff, you can. You've got that panel there so animals aren't trying to get out. And again, all these steps are really, really nice, especially, again, for the, for the younger kids using this. That's a pretty good step from ground up to here. Having that just makes it really nice jumping in and out. And it just folds up so easy and out of the way. Again, this is a real sharp looking trailer with that polish, with that new charcoal metallic color, and those button lights really top it off. So if you're interested in this trailer or any others that we have on hand or on order, stock number on this one is 5N201023. Again, it's a 2021 Cimarron Showstar LX 10 pin, six foot front tack, adjustable pins, power already to it. This trailer is really set up and ready for you to go use. So give us a call if you have any questions on it. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.